Thank you very much and I also want to uh, convey my greetings to your um, viewers uh, and my best wishes. Um, the relationship uh, between uh, the government and the state of Azerbaijan and United Nations, I would describe it as very active, uh, friendly um, and based on uh, mutual respect and understanding. It, uh, Azerbaijan became a member of uh, United Nations in uh, March 1992. So it's been almost 24 years that we've been working um, as the UN, UN system with uh, Azerbaijan. Um, and let me uh, highlight some of the uh, cooperation that we've had in the past uh, 24 years, both at the global level and as well as at the local level. At the global level, um, we've seen Azerbaijan has been very active in the work of the UN system. Uh, for instance, uh, we, we saw that uh, Azerbaijan has attended several high-level events, uh, starting um, in the GA uh, General Assembly uh, session in 1994-96, uh, His Excellency President uh, Haider Aliyev. And also in, uh, in the year 2000, when we had the Millennium Summit, uh, President uh, Haider Aliyev attended the Millennium Summit. And just recently, we also saw a witness, uh, President Elham Aliyev attended the uh, Humanitarian Summit uh, in Istanbul that was uh, organized by the UN system. Um, also, I would say that uh, uh, Azerbaijan has also actively participated uh, in, in the various uh, uh, forum uh, or fora uh, of the UN system. For example, uh, it hosted the Alliance of Civilization event here. Azerbaijan was a member of uh, the UN Security Council uh, in 2011-2013. And also um, Azerbaijan was a member of the Governing Council of UNICEF uh, and also we have, most uh, importantly, we've, we have also the First Lady Goodwill Ambassador of uh, UNESCO and also Laila Aliyev as the Goodwill Ambassador for FAO here in Azerbaijan. So these are very important, um, I would say, relationship that we've established um, both with the people and the government of Azerbaijan. And now let me turn to uh, our cooperation in the country. Uh, the United Nations office opened um, itself here in 1992, exactly at the same time as it, uh, uh, Azerbaijan acceded to the UN system. Um, and uh, we are now over uh, 17 both resident and non-resident UN agencies uh, providing uh, support, technical support, humanitarian support, development support in a variety of areas from agriculture to education to health uh, to good governance, uh, uh, public administration, environment, migration, uh, support to refugees and internally displaced people. Well, I, th I think what's important is that um, Azerbaijan is geographically located between the east and the west and its geographical position is itself is a very good demonstration of uh, its relationship with the world and how it can um, bridge uh, the gap in intolerance uh, extremism and, and or to address the issues of intolerance uh, and extremism radicalism and all, all kinds of Azerbaijan's um, can contribute uh, very much to uh, intercultural dialogue, um, inter-religious dialogue, um, understanding, um, uh, bringing uh, understanding and tolerance and, and moderation uh, among various countries. And so the, the Alliance of Civilization, which uh, it had its seventh forum in Azerbaijan, brought people from uh, all walks of life. We had scientists here, we had experts here, we had religious leader here, um, we had uh, former um, politicians here. Um, so I think the fact that the event was held in Azerbaijan 
uh, in itself brings uh, awareness and understanding and it also promotes Azerbaijan's image as a country that uh, supports intercultural dialogue, multiculturalism, pluralism and so forth. Um, the other uh, event that uh, supports such thing was Baku Humanitarian Forum in itself was which was held and it had its fifth event uh, in, in Baku is part of that process. Uh, so I think overall I would say uh, the contribution of uh, Azerbaijan to promoting culture, religious tolerance and understanding in the region and globally is enormous. We're doing everything we can to bring awareness uh, uh, to the UN system. Um, in fact, that we are sitting right now and uh, this is in itself uh, um, uh, very helpful in, in bringing to your audience uh, uh, the message and understanding about the UN system. But we have several mechanisms. Uh, for instance, uh, there are many uh, General Assembly mandated international days or UN days that we try to celebrate and commemorate. For example, we have International uh, Day for Refugees, we have International Day for Environment, uh, we have days for um, fighting uh, poverty, we have, uh, so we have many for HIV AIDS for, for a lot of these days. So in, in those days we try to at least promote the message of the Secretary General and, and also do something with, the, with our national partners. Secondly, we are doing um, um, a lot of work with, with young people. For instance, we have this model UN, uh, which uh, brings young people from across uh, Azerbaijani society, and they engage for many days in debate uh, uh, and also uh, learning about UN values and norms. Last year, uh, we held uh, the UN Day at the um, Haider Eliyov Center with the participation of uh, um, His Excellency the, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and a large number of other government officials and, and uh, diplomatic community and, and, and civil society organization. And again there our message was not simply to celebrate the UN Day but also to inform the public that uh, it was the 70th anniversary of the UN and also about the sustainable development goal what it means and what is its value and how, uh, how it sort of uh, can contribute to global good and prosperity. The Millennium Development Goal uh, which was um, adopted uh, in, in the year 2000, um, what we call it um, part of the Millennium Declaration, uh, I, I think its importance is, um, it's, uh, I could highlight its importance by the fact that uh, the former president uh, of Azerbaijan, uh, His Excellency Haider Aliyev, participated in the year 2000 in New York in the Millennium Summit, as a result of which came um, uh, eight Millennium Development Goals. Now, how do we assess Azerbaijan in terms of its achievement? I think Azerbaijan has done extremely well in, in, the, in achieving the, the goals, uh, has a very good track record. And uh, let me just give you some statistics. Uh, um, the goal of the 7 plus 1, 8 go of, of the Millennium Development uh, goal was to reduce poverty by half, to reduce everything by half. If we look at Azerbaijan's poverty rate, it was not only reduced by half, it was reduced even by a large margin from 49% to 5%. And that's due to its enormous economic progress that it has experienced in the last 15 years. Unemployment was also reduced from almost 12% to, to under 4%. Maternal mortality rate declined by half. Chi under 5 mortality rate was again reduced from 24% to 12.5%. So if we look at Azerbaijan um, status from, an under, from a poor country or a least developed country moved to an upper middle income country. Azerbaijan was recognized among 29 countries in the world 
which has reduced poverty to 5% from a very high to bring in poverty under 5%. So that's more than just half. I think it will bring a lot of positive results. First of all, let me congratulate uh, Azerbaijan and in particular the president for uh, establishing this national council on uh, to, to really uh, for the achievement of sustainable development goals. Um, let me just give you a few, a little bit, uh, the difference between sustainable development goal and the millennium development goal. Sustainable development goals are basically our roadmap for the next 15 years on again eradicating poverty and hunger and, and bringing improvement to in the area of human development. Sustainable developments are much more comprehensive, they're universal, they apply to every country. And the other important uh, difference between the Millennium Development Goal and Sustainable Development Goal is that Sustainable Development Goal addresses not just issues of poverty but more the issue of sustainability of any economic growth. For instance, it has to look at social issue, it has to look at environmental issues and it has to look at um, the issue of inequalities, um, it has to look at the issue of uh, gender and women and men and all of that have committed to support Azerbaijan in the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goal targets and indicators. Uh, I have made this very clear uh, with the, um, in my contacts and discussion with the government. And uh, we believe the United Nations is uniquely positioned to assist government because as a UN system we can bring technical expertise and assistance in a variety of fields. Um, as I mentioned, from agriculture to tourism to trade to health, education and so forth. And we hope that in the next four or five years we can assist Azerbaijan in integrating the goals and the um, indicators into its national plans and strategies. I have an extremely positive impression. Of course, uh, when I'm in Azerbaijan, I feel very much at home because I feel a lot of cultural similarities and closeness to Azerbaijan uh, because of my uh, background. Uh, let me first say that, yes, I've worked in over uh, 10 countries uh, in my UN career and I hope that I can bring some of the positive and relevant experiences uh, to Azerbaijan and to our work here. Uh, because I think it is about our role is to bring um, good experiences and, uh, and practices. So I hope that my experience would be of some help to Azerbaijan. Secondly, as I mentioned, I think it's a very positive uh, impression that I have so far. Um, one that I mentioned earlier, it's a place where you feel that people are extremely tolerant. The society is very tolerant of um, no matter who you are and where you come from, um, I think there is a general acceptance and um, respect for foreigners. Baku is a very beautiful city. I was very impressed by its uh, architecture, you know, from very beautiful buildings. And, uh, and the government has done a very good job of uh, renovating and making the city uh, very uh, friendly. Um, I would say, you know, people friendly. I have had some opportunities to go out of Baku um, to other parts and, um, and it's a beautiful country. I think uh, if you go uh, up to the north in the Caucasus Mountains, um, you see tremendous beauty. The country has enormous potential for uh, tourism which uh, I'm glad to see the government is prioritizing right now. So I think overall uh, it's a country that has a lot of uh, potential for, um, uh, for tourism promotion and also for attracting visitors from all over the world and to continue this image of uh, a nation and a country where East meet West and where uh, people can um, really uh, enjoy um, an atmosphere of uh, uh, friendliness and hospitality 
Um, and one last thing, um, it's, it's very important for foreigners and visitors to live in a country without the fear of insecurity. I mean, streets of Baku are very safe. The country is also, if you travel, uh, very safe. And this is very important uh, in terms of uh, um, our experience to live here as uh, beyond our work.